take off. Uh, hello, uh, my topic is climate change, industrial hazards and their relationship, a case of Nepal. Basically, everyone talks about there is a relationship between climate change and natural hazards, uh, but there are very few evidences, like scientifically shown evidences, that gives the relationship between climate change and natural hazards. So basically, in this research, uh, my topic, I try to show, see the relationship, give the scientific numerical value for the relationship between climate change and natural hazards. So, so before going to the relationship in Nepal, I try to see how the climate is changing. Here, in this my trend analysis, what I did is I used the ArcGIS uh, to plot the all temperature uh, for the whole Nepal because we only have 91 stations, uh, temperature stations, and 234 rainfall stations. So I used the ArcGIS, I did interpolation using Grimm, and I did the interpolation, interpolated data for each year from 1978 to 2011. And it shows that temperature is increasing by 0 0.04 degree centigrade for each year and the and I use the standard deviations like standard deviations of each year shows uh, how the temperature is changing in the higher parts and in the lower parts like and when you see that trend it shows the time series so and for temperature standard deviation is decreasing which means the higher altitude temperature is getting uh, hotter faster and then the lower uh, the temperature uh, for, but for in case of rainfall, there is not such much uh, significant trend, uh, but it is decreasing slightly, and the standard deviation is increasing, which shows that rainfall is in very much erratic in nature. Uh, basically, after that, I did the seasonal analysis for the rainfall and temperature, both the, but uh, after that, I did again for that, like each month, like January to the December. Uh, in Nepal, basically the monsoon season, where we receive 80% of our rain, it's from June, July, August, September, these four months. And interesting, it is found that in monsoon season, uh, rainfall is decreasing in July and September, and it's increasing in the month of August. That is, uh, it shows that rainfall is getting more extreme in nature, and that uh, floods are more happening in maybe in month of the August, and there will be a drought season in also inside the monsoon season, that is in the July or September. Uh, after that, I tried to see the like natural hazards occurrence. Uh, so it's really increasing in order, but there is a like limitation with the data of the natural hazards because it is uh, in Nepal. The data are not that much captured from the in the past, so there is a limitation because all are reported cases, which has caused the casualties. Uh, again, after that, I see try to see for in which month, season sorry, in season the landslides and like droughts. These are the natural hazards that cause. So you can see that forest fire, hailstorm, thunderstorm are more in the pre monsoon season, and in monsoon season, more like floods and landslide. Uh, after that, these are just some examples of the how much damage has caused by these natural hazards, and flood and landslide are the most natural hazards. Uh, okay, after that, this is the main result of my part this uh, relationship between climate variables and the climate variables and the natural hazards. In here, what I try to see is that cold wave, forest fire, hailstorm, landslide, thunderstorm, flood are increasing each year significantly. And this uh, climate variables like average rain, rainfall is having significant impact on increasing the number of floods. You can see that it's significant. After that, like with decrease in rainfall, there will increase in forest fire. Uh, similarly, for temperature, with increasing temperature, there is more uh, like, you know, let's say that's like heat waves, but with, if the temperature decreases, there will be more like health strong. Uh, after that, what I try to see is, because in Nepal, the monsoon season is really important. So, I only take the, uh, took the uh, flood as because it's causing the major damages. So, I try to see how the Pre-monsoon temperature and pre-monsoon rainfall is having impact on the pre-monsoon flooding and more monsoon flooding. Uh, it is said that it is seen that pre-monsoon temperature is having significant impact on the pre-monsoon flooding. Similarly, pre-monsoon rainfall also has a significant impact on the pre-monsoon pre flooding. Uh, again, like monsoon temperature, like if monsoon temperature decreases in monsoon season, they will increase in uh, monsoon flooding because. With decrease in, in monsoon temperature, the 
uh, soil get saturated faster, and there were more chances of flash flood. So basically, this is the main results that I got. So this shows that there is a significant impact of climate change in the occurrence of the natural hazards. That's all. Thank you.